Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today is the last Sunday of the month, so I am doing my no buy check in for the month of August. We are eight months into the no buy, so yay! Congratulations! Um, there's only three things I wanted this month, and I'm probably going to talk a little bit more in depth about one of them during this video, but I need a new planner. And there's one I really like from Hobonichi. Um, I did the currency converter from yen to US dollar. I live in the United States. And with shipping, I figured about $25. Is it a want? It's kind of more of a need. I need a planner. So I have a whole thing for our homeschool, but I need one for me, for my projects, for my appointments, for my things. Um, there was a 5x7 print for $6 where 100% of the proceeds for the month of August goes towards um, Mar Monarchs, the Monarch Butterfly. It is a milkweed print, which is, you know, their favorite plant. And anything to support, you know, insects and botany and entomology and things. I, I just love stuff like that. Um, and then the last one was the book. I did a review about this book called Make Your Art No Matter What. And it's about like the psychology of how we get into our own heads and sometimes in our own way and can't create the art we want to create. I would love to own that and have that as a resource for when certain chapters become more applicable than others. And I only put $12 because I know myself I would buy a used version of that book. So total $43 this month. Um, I had been in the bottom calculating this. I divided the year in thirds. So the first third of the year I would have spent about $1,300 and from May to August $312. Again this doesn't cover shipping but you get the general gist that this has gone down by a thousand dollars. So my wants and needs, um, again, I kind of started off strong with a bunch of things. So maybe this isn't the most completely accurate. My main takeaway is that it's just less. So <laughs> we'll get back to the planner thing. Hold on. So for empties, I am filling the last of my oldest sketchbooks. This is a 9 by 12 inch, um, 22 by 30 centimeter. This is 118 grams. This is just the sketching paper, not the mixed media paper that they have. That's Strathmore. And I've had this since 2017. So I can say that Filling the last of my old, old sketchbooks is a very motivating and very gratifying experience. Um, I'm not really using my favorite art supply. I'm doing some animals and things. Um, in case you wanted to see a couple of them, this is what they're looking like. They're a lot of fun. But that's what I'm doing with a sketchbook. And I have a review up about the Conte Aperis sketching pencil. I'm using all the different sanguine ones and the sepia. And I'll link that video too in case you're curious about that product. The other thing I've used up, <laughs> okay, so is my pencil. So how long does it take me to use up a pencil? About eight months. So I took the ferrule off. This is a black wing. Here is the eraser insert. Here is what's left of my eraser. Here is a pencil. So this is what's left and I can put it, you know, back together. <laughs> but I couldn't use any more of the eraser than this. As soon as I go to use it, it slips down within its kind of holder here. That's sort of supposed to be pinched but I am officially done with this pencil because I can no longer just regularly sharpen this. So I, I have a set of 12 of these. I'm just using these up till they're gone and then I will buy more of the Mitsubishi Hi Uni. 
This is a Chubi, and it's not quite as soft as the Mitsubishi Hayuni HB. And it's also kind of top heavy because of the ferrule. So when you write, the weight is kind of different. Not my favorite. It's a beautiful pencil. It's a great company. And I've used one up. So <laughs> a sketch pad and a pencil. That's what I've done. Um, I want to talk about the planners. So the thing with planners for 2023 and organizers and things like that is... When I look at things like Hobonichi and Midori, they are taking, they've been taking pre-orders. In fact, pre-orders have closed for a lot of the products and sales begin September 1st. So a lot of the very, very popular planners and organizers, and I'll show you the one I have. So you have something to look at. Um, and I'm leaning towards an A6 sort of daily or weekly. I'm leaning towards something a little bit smaller. I like trying different things every year. This is the Hobonichi Weeks, and this is how I use it. So I'm documenting all the washi tape I'm using. Um, I use it for multiple things. I keep track of all the different artists and drawing challenges and things I create. Um, I use the monthly spread for keeping track of all the different videos I do and this helps a ton for me for all the notes and things. Uh, I'm a big note taker. And then the inside is the weeks of me doing my plan with me's and making sure that I'm sticking to the things I said I was going to do when I draw and create and make YouTube videos. And then the very back, which is blank sort of graph paper, I have some tests in here, and then I have notes. So I make notes for my different drawing challenges, um, all the videos I'm going to do, and yeah, so I use my planners. I fill them up. This is the page I'm currently using for August. Now, because they go on sale in September, and because I'm doing a no buy, I won't be able to partake in all the early purchasing, which means that the ones I probably want will already be sold. Um, and again, they're wants. I need a planner, but I would love to have a Hobonichi or a plan B would be like a Midori daily. Um, but by the time January 1st arrives, most of those will be sold out everywhere. So my only option is to do maybe like a moleskin. I have a backup list of all the planners that could work <laughs> that hopefully aren't sold out by then. And if they are, I'll just figure out how to print something at home. Again, the beauty of things like this is I don't have to draw. I don't have to draw this gridded graph of all the days. Like that saves me a ton of time. And I don't have to draw you know, the months and put this in. Like bullet journals are great, but the amount of time spent drawing the spreads, it takes a ton of time. It takes a lot of time and I don't have, I'm just not made of all that time. So while it's fun to draw and create on the right hand side, the left hand side is the most important for keeping me on track and making sure I'm doing all the things I said I was going to do. So, this is what my hang up is, sort of. This is a really, really hard thing not to purchase. And then like, let sit until I open January 1st. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just gonna wait and see what's left on Amazon so I can stick to the no buy. Because I have to understand that I, I want a planner with certain designs and certain paper but I just need a planner that's already filled out that saves me time. And I have to distinguish the two and understand that and remind myself of that. So I hope this video helps. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.